Welcome to an extremely exciting edition of NCIX Tech Tips. We have the all new ASUS ROG Matrix HD 7970 Platinum. This is a hand selected 7970 GPU with all the overclocking and tweaking tools loaded into it. And basically, I think Slick and I are in agreement, it takes the performance crown for a single GPU card. Let's start with a close look at the physicality of this beast. The first thing you're going to notice is the triple slot DirectCU 2 matrix cooler. So this has a massive, massive aluminum sheet of fins over top of the entire card. Plus, it's got three heat pipes going the one way, two heat pipes going the other way for five heat pipes total covering the card. The cooler uses dual 100 millimeter fans. It has a full back plate on the back of the card, which looks absolutely amazing with a brushed aluminum finish and the ASUS branding in the correct orientation, which is actually a big deal when you have it installed in your case. In addition to that, it has a full thick aluminum unisync on the underside of the card before the cooler. This aids with heat dissipation as well as helping the card be more rigid and not put as much strain on the PCI Express slot at the back of your case by sitting more firmly in your computer. There's a ton of exclusive ASUS features including their 20 phase VRM. 20 power phases for this GPU. Yeah, they had to have a custom PCB in order to accommodate that so you can see the PCB is actually quite a bit higher at the, uh, at the top of the card here than you would normally see on a graphics card. Dual 8-pin power connectors keep this beast powered. And then there's a whole bunch of exclusive features down the back here. So you've got ASUS's turbo fan button, their GPU tweak it, as well as a safe mode for operating the GPU in, well, safe mode. Very, very neat stuff on the back of the PCB as well. You've got solder points for monitoring voltages, adjusting voltages, all the kinds of things that liquid nitrogen overclockers would normally have to do manually and by trial and error in the past. ASUS has said, no, nope, no way. This is a hand bin card, hand selected card. The platinum ones are hand selected. The other ones are gigahertz edition GPUs that are overclocked. But this is a platinum card. Nope, we're going to get you guys to just go ahead and do that. Don't worry about it. Now, there are a couple things that I want to go a little bit more into depth in. One is the fact that it uses not just standard solid capacitors. It used to be solid capacitors was the big marketing point that everyone wanted to talk about, solid capacitors. Now, we're talking about specific Japanese-made Nikikon GT series solid capacitors. We're talking up to five times the lifetime and better tolerance for higher temperatures. So this card pretty much doesn't die. That's, that's what it comes down to. Now, all of those features at the back are pretty cool. So VGA Hotwire allows you to easily overvolt. That's on the card. Tweak It allows you to use the onboard buttons to just physically adjust the, the, uh, the voltages by just pressing the plus and minus buttons, which is very cool. Turbo Fan allows you to run the fan at 100% speed for maximum overclocking if you are overclocking under air. And then Safe Mode takes you back to defaults with a clear CMOS type of effect on the graphics card itself. Last really cool thing about this card, okay, it's got three gigs of memory, which means it's great for surround multi-display configurations. It has the horses to drive it. It also has the connectors to drive it. It has dual DVI and quad display port outputs, meaning it can drive six displays natively without any adapters, as long as they're display port compatible. Now, all of this is just theoretical until we throw some actual numbers at you. So, oh yeah, last cool thing that I totally forgot in the last shot. This indicator on the top actually tells you how heavy the load on your GPU is, so it changes colors, which is sort of neat, okay? It's compatible two-way, three-way crossfire, even four-way crossfire, if you want to throw all those bridges in there. Now let's talk sexy performance. We have two sets of data. One set of non-overclocked data, and one set of overclocked data. So we're comparing this card against a 7970 reference card. This is not a gigahertz edition. There's nothing special about it. Just a plain Jane 7970. We are also throwing into the mix MSI's GTX 680 Lightning. Just to find out with the very latest drivers, what is the fastest single GPU you can buy? At stock speeds in Battlefield 3 at ultra settings, the 680 Lightning steals the show, but you can see the 7970 Matrix is about 15% faster 
than a reference car right off the bat. When we throw overclocking into the mix, the difference kind of narrows a bit, but the matrix does perform in the real world at maximum overclocks, maximum voltages. Slick was working at this for over a week to achieve much better results than a reference 7970, and it even surpasses the 680 at its maximum overclock. Remember, this is Lightning Edition, so high-end 680, not like jokes 680. All right, Witcher, not that any 680 is jokes, but you know. Now Witcher 2. So Witcher 2, please note guys, the graph is a little bit misleading. These numbers are all very close together. It starts at 32, so just bear that in mind. Look at the numbers. So the 7970 matrix outperforms the reference card by about 10%, you know, give or take a little bit more, 12%, again, and outperforms the light, well, they both outperform the 680 Lightning in this case. Then when we dial it up, they get pretty close. However, I think you'll see in our last game, this one's back to normal scaling, by the way, folks, uh, when we get back to this one, we see, again, a 15, 10-15% difference in Metro 2033, even when both cards are overclocked to the max. So, all the technology that ASUS has built into this graphics card, does it make a real-world difference? The answer is yes. Thank you for checking out this NCIX Tech Tips Showcase on the ASUS Matrix 7970. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this from your favorite e-tailer, NCIX.com.